Well, more bugs and another unwanted pest are one of the downsides of all the rains that we've recently had. And if that's your situation, here's our Jeremiah Marshall with some advice on how to deal with that problem and maybe prevent it in the future. Jen, usually after major rain events, it's the mosquitoes that are a common nuisance, but the rodents may invade your space too. The amount of rain that we've received at this particular point in time, it just upsets the whole ecosystem. Upset and shaken once taken out their natural habitat, spiders, cockroaches, ants, and many more may flee the rainy weather, yet end up in your home. Ants, the roaches, the, the lizards, the snakes, the, the rodents, I mean, everything is going to be pushed to higher ground. President and owner of Pest Patrol Incorporated, Kent Nielsen, says the moisture levels have risen and Pest Patrol workers <laughs> have been busy spraying these unwanted visitors. Rather, if it's in flower pots or even in grassy areas and even in trees, Pest Patrol experts say that since the storm hit, these rodents have moved to different areas and in these different areas they can breed, which is why you may see an arrival of more rodents in your location. So all of the above happens. Uh, you're, so you're going to get an influx because they like getting out of the out of the weather just as well. Make sure your home has well painted walls. This will fight against certain ants and termites. Keep your home sealed for the mosquitoes. Mow your lawn and get rid of any standing water. Lastly, it's a good idea to put your dog food up so ants and cockroaches won't have a food source. This rain and the humidity levels and the excessive moisture that and not being able to get your grasses cut, it's we're fixing to be very, very busy. Pest patrol experts also say since we live in a subtropical climate, a strong insect presence is common, especially after heavy rains. Lee.